My African Vacation. My first stop was Cape Town, South Africa, where we visited the Castle of Good Hope, which was handmade with stones by soldiers that were being punished. Then we visited Camps Bay, where they have white and sandy breathtaking beaches. Some people used to use Camps Bay for hunting. Then we traveled up the aerial to go to the top of Table Mountain. Then we finally arrived. The top is very flat, with an elevation of 3,558 feet. Next, we arrived at the Kalagali Transfrontier, which includes wildlife such as meerkats that can recognize each other's voices. Then we have a leopard that can run 36 miles per hour. Next, we have elephants that are the largest land mammal on Earth. Next is a lion, which lifespan is 10 to 14 years. Then we have hippos, that can live up to 40 years. And then we have rhinos, and there are five different types of species. Then I visited Victoria Falls, where the height is 355 feet and flows into the Zimbabwe River. And there's a very popular attraction called Devil's Pool that is right at the edge of Victoria Falls. Then we went to the Kabali Forest National Park, where there are chimpanzees that we share 98% of our DNA with. Next, we have lions. The lion population in Africa has been reduced by half since the early 1950s. There are 375 different species of birds in the park. It is 1,590 meters above sea level. There are 351 tree species to be recorded in the park. It is 766 square kilometers. The park looks beautiful itself from the inside and out and it's beautiful with all the wildlife that lives inside of it. Now we are moving on and going to our next place. We went to Narabi. There was wealth and poverty. Those who are wealthy tend to live in the city and those who are in poverty live in small towns. Now, moving on to one of our last stops. We went to Mogadishu, Somalia, which is considered very dangerous for not having a government. The people there have the right to care for themselves, meaning it is dangerous from the terrorist attacks that occur frequently. 43% of the population lives in poverty. 73% of the population lives on less than two US dollars per day. The government highly suggests that you should not go there and doesn't want you to go there. Finally, the last stop is Timbuktu, where I saw the priceless historical architecture called the Jingwerber Mosque and took some great photos. It is in the center of Mali, built in 1327 as a learning center. On the map, it shows you where Timbuktu is. So does this Google Earth video. The Jingwerber Mosque is the oldest mosque in Timbuktu.
My conclusion on this vacation is that I loved it and can't wait to go back and learn so much.